Dagan here from PMCV UK and this is a guitar that I've wanted to review for ages because it puts such a smile on my face. This is the Paul Gilbert Ibanez FRM300, the latest incarnation of his infamous, infamous Fireman guitar. And it's just great. I love the size of this guitar, the way it looks, the way it feels. We're going to get into it in this video with some specs and some sound demos but I might be a little bit overwhelmed. I will off the bat say I'm not as good as Paul Gilbert, so I hope you're not expecting technical difficulties and all that kind of jazz, but yeah, hopefully I can purvey across via the medium of video how awesome this guitar is. <laughs> So first off, that's the volume, that's the tone. I keep forgetting that. Paul likes to have the volume furthest away so he can simply just play big power chords and stuff and then volume down. First thing you hit on the outside, which I need to keep remembering. So the Feynman's been out for a little while now. It was Paul's second signature guitar after the PGM, you know, with the, uh, the painted on F holes. Uh, the first one was the Karina one and that, that was like a poster guitar for me when I was playing guitar when I was doing, along with the original PGM. Just that upside down, well, this shape came about because it's an Iceman, an Ibanez Iceman, and Paul flipped it and made it a Fireman, which I think one of his like, YouTube subscribers thought of that name. And it's genius! Fireman, Iceman, it's awesome. The size of this guitar, not the scale length, it's a regular scale length, 24 and 3 quarters. Yeah, uh, but the overall size of this guitar is great, because I'm a tall guy, like Paul Gilbert's a tall guy, I'm 6 foot 4, and this guitar just feels just awesome, perfect almost. <laughs> So yeah, we've got a few different variants, the original Karina um, Fireman's through the uh, single coil variants with the slanted single coils. There was the humbucker variants of the reds with the single coils. There was a white version with the two mini humbuckers and now I've got the FRM 300 with the three mini Damasio PG-13 humbuckers. So these are Damasio Paul Gilbert's signature mini humbuckers and they absolutely scream. Where are we going? There we go. <laughs> It just makes you want to throw it about. It's so well balanced that when you sat down, it kind of rests up against these, so you can feel the whole thing vibrating. Let's get into the specs now. So it's an Okun body, so part of the mahogany family. It's got the similar kind. Of, it's got similar kind of traits uh, to mahogany, it's just a bit more sustainable. A three-piece Okun and maple neck, and it's a Feynman profile. So it's a chunky boy. It's not overtly chunky, like a like a fifty-one no caster or something, but it's a it's a thick neck. I think Paul's actual ones are thicker. But that's not for the general public because his hands and his pinky uh, deserve a big old neck. It's quite a sizable neck heel as well. He said on a number of occasions, and I've seen other people say there's a lot of tone is in the neck heel where the neck actually joins the body of the guitar. So the more mass there, the more this whole thing kind of resonates as one, which is lovely. The fingerboard is bound, ebony fingerboard, and it is a 12 inch radius fingerboard with 22 narrow tall frets. They're kind of vintage frets, they're quite thin, but quite tall, kind of almost gives the illusion of it being scalloped. Ebony board, did I say that? With some sleek, stylish, old-school dots. You've got the big old Ibanez headstock up top as well. Three mini humbuckers which switch like a strat. So bridge pickup, neck pickup, in the middle positions are these two, and in position four it's these two, and in the middle it's just the mini humbucker. Really cool bridge and tailpiece design. Tunematic style bridge, but it's like a high mass one, and they're um, routed into the body, they're recessed into the body, and a quick change stop bar tailpiece. I can't remember the actual name off the top of my head with Ibanez, but it's a very fancy Ibanez design, design tailpiece and, uh, and bridge. One tone, one volume, 
does what it says on the tin. It's a bloody Ibanez Fireman, one of my favorite guitars of all time, and I hope you're enjoying it too if you're this far into this video. I was in Dario Cables, in to the Blackstar HT Stage 100 Watt Mark II head and cab, but you hear, you're hearing it through an impulse response for Blackstar cab in the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X, going into a zoom thing, and then into your lovely ears. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on to some more Fireman, some dirty stuff and some clean stuff. Because there's so much wood here, it just resonates and sustains like an absolute bad lad. mistake of playing this guitar loads before I clicked record on that camera so now my fingers are a little bit sore and rusty but that's okay hopefully it comes across okay how awesome this guitar sounds especially when it's up like this do clean up awesomely as well. the middle positions on a cleaner sound to give you more of an idea but this is the middle pickup compared to the bridge in the neck nice kind of yeah in between as you'd expect very articulate pickups that's the tone very articulate pickups as you'd expect but even acoustically it's so loud and resonant let's hear some clean sounds because we can So that's a full on neck mini humbucker. So position four now. The neck and the middle working in conjunction with each other. Throaty kind of almost strat turn. Mm -hmm. 
middle pickup. I think position four is my favourite, the neck and the middle together. Now position two, the bridge in the middle. They're kind of honky. That beautiful turn. Something like that. It's the first time anyone's ever played Taylor Swift on a fireman, I guarantee you. Down on the bridge, humbucker. Let's go back to some gain to end. Stuff up the hot top and I got it. <laughs> Come on, fingers. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the side specs and sounds I can give you out of the amazing. Ibanez, Paul Gilbert signature FRM 300 Feynman. I love this guitar, it's ridiculous. It comes with a gig bag, so you haven't got to worry about trying to find a bag to fit it. It's just remarkable. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Are you more Feynman? Are you more Team Original PGM? Why not be like me and have both? This isn't mine, but I think it might be coming home with me. I think it's awesome. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to PMTV UK here on YouTube for lots more cool guitar and music related content. If you want any more information on the Feynman 300 or any I have an product for that matter. Get your fine self in the description box down below and click yourself some links or call into a forever expanding PMT store. We are playing music today on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Give us a like and a follow to see pictures of this with nice filters on. I've been digging, and I'll see you next time.